Welcome back friends, YouTube. Another exciting video. I'm Craig with Outdoors with Craig DZ. Gonna be doing a, I believe it should be a quick install video today uh, for my F-250 here. If I switch the camera around. So I got this, one of the features I wanted was remote start. So this is a Start X uh, remote starter kit and uh, reviews, everything were good. Basically it's plug and play should be a five minute or less install so you basically have to just plug this harness in and then kind of sync it up works off your OEM uh, remote keys uh, I think it's unlock lock unlock and that will will start the vehicle there are some restrictions on it so you'll have to look up your your model I believe it does work with the push start uh, vehicles as well but there's oh sorry it says right on the box lock unlock lock no honk so that will be good so i'm going to hook this up we're supposed to be getting some snow today as you can see it's already starting to come down so i'm going to try and get this hooked up so hopefully tomorrow i can warm this thing up without having to come out here and start it so stay tuned guys all right so we're going to open up the box first you have this little start x uh, controller unit and then the wiring i believe they call this the t harness and the instruction book which again this says it's for a f-150 2015 and up but it also works on the 250s as well i believe even the 350s all right so for install first Remove the connector going to the gateway module located in most vehicles on the back of the OBCD2 port. Push the tab to get it out. Uh, plug the back of the connector from the T-harness into the back of the OBD2 port. Connect the vehicle connector to the T-harness. Follow the programming procedure. And it just uh, looks like there's some programming buttons you have to hit and some kind of light sequence to see that, to get it to program. So. Let's go ahead and we'll try and do this quick. So you got to take off your, your dash piece, which the pieces I've videos watched, you know, you basically have to just kind of grab into the harness here and, and just basically yank it out and the clips pull out. Uh, from there, the unit, if you can see here, is on a hinge. So it just hinges down and then from there, Kind of have this this panel open. Um, I thought that was the harness there, but you can kind of tuck the controller up in here. I think once you're done, which is kind of the idea of pulling it down. But uh, yeah, so maybe I didn't have to pull that down right away. All right, so you just, you know, again, your your controller, your your port, at least for the F-250s, is down here, right here in this corner. You can see it without pulling that panel down. As I stated, though, I'm I'm kind of gonna try and hide it and keep it nice and neat. So I'm actually gonna plug everything up. The T harness is basically the T harness is basically the straight cable, um, you know, that ties everything in, but it it by you know, kind of the whole point of the T, you see there, it, it ties off of the main harness line and kind of is wired into it. And then the connectors that you need for this remote start are right there. So I just kind of push this up. You guys can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna you know, just plug the existing harness into this piece and then the that other piece of the connector, I'll plug back into the back of the original connector. Uh, there we go. It should snap, kind of snap in there. And now, yeah, you can see with this hole, I'm able to kind of route the wire up 
for that new controller. So now you take this controller box. Let's see here. All right. Press and hold the programming button with your finger still holding it down. Connect the black connector. Oops. Guess I should have read that, huh? So let's. We'll unplug it. We're just we're just testing there. All right. LCD button. Hold it down. Plug it in. All right. When only the blue LED is lit, release it. Oh shit. Jesus. I have to edit that out. Well, I guess it only gets you one try. Screw it up. All right, there we go. Just the blue light. If you hold it down, it's literally, for me, it was the first light, so if you were quick, you could release it. All right. If this doesn't happen, then unplug it and restart step one. Okay, now insert the white connector. All right, so, guys, if you have push to start, there's directions for that. I do not. Mine's a regular key. So for a regular key, turn the ignition on. So we'll plug this in. And turn the ignition to on. Blue LED will flash rapidly. Yep. Wait for the blue to flash rapidly and consistently. I mean, that's... I mean, that looks pretty rapid, and then it says just turn the ignition off. Blue LED will turn off. Your module is programmed. So, I mean, let's just, so, uh, lock, unlock, lock. All right, now it's got a red light. It's going amber. Boom. And there you have it. So, and then the kit comes with some extra zip ties. Like I said, obviously this thing's gonna have to close. So you're gonna have to kinda figure out where, you know, where you can safely install this. For me, I think right here, underneath this pad is kind of the best and then that T harness you can kind of there's a ground cable so you can actually you know pop this back on drive turn key to on so it already you know detects everything yeah light switch everything's working here backlight dimming so everything on this switch is fine let me just finish zip tying this thing up so it's you know won't it's not gonna rattle around and end up dropping down the thing you got to be careful especially in that location is that it doesn't drop down while you're driving and end up getting caught on one of the pedals or something. It could cause you an accident. So it's it's a good idea to spend the extra couple minutes and and zip tie it up. But yeah, I mean that was pretty easy to me. If I, <laughs> I mean I didn't go through the directions or anything before you guys, so you kind of just saw me doing it for the first time. It, you know, I didn't stage it. I didn't plug it in and then rip it out and do it again for you guys. But I mean this video, looking at the length, is about eight minutes. So. Uh, once you've done it once I'm sure you could do it within minutes here like two three minutes um, but the install very easy directions if you can read are, are fairly clean and uh, pretty straightforward but uh, I just kind of got hung up looking at I was looking at the push start buttons I didn't realize that was uh, push start one so that kind of hung me up there but yeah let me zip tie this stuff up and uh, get back to you here in a sec there you have it the start X remote starter kit for a Ford 
F250 and again lock unlock lock it is delayed it takes a second and I think it just processes the command there you go no beep no honks nothing like that the only thing I'm not sure about which I could test it here and see is you know typically and normally your remote starts are on a 10 or 15 minute timer sometimes you know they were adjustable the aftermarket ones I think you could do even up to 20 minutes I'm not sure this one it doesn't really state anything in the controller as far as time you know so will this run indefinitely or again is it on a, a 10 or 15 minute timer I I honestly hope it's on a timer just because I'd rather have my truck start out or shut off and have to restart it again than have to, you know, worry about if I forget it that it runs out of fuel or something like that. So, and then I wonder, let's try it right now. It doesn't say it. If I do lock, unlock, lock, yes, it does shut it off. So that's a good test as well. So, I mean, so far, initial impressions install, guys, very simple. Uh, price, I'll put a link in in uh, the description below. I got it from Amazon. I believe it was $120 shipped and I got it in two days. So overall easy installation, a lot of basic features. If I have any issues or problems with it, I'll, I'll point it out, but I'll update the video. Uh, but as of right now, everything works fine out of the box, easy install. Uh, thanks for tuning in guys. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, support the channel. Join the team Outdoor with Craig DZ, and I will see you guys later.